Hey, y'all get in that and go catch those chickens. I'm my garden. You can make your fairy garden when you get through catching chickens. Hi friends, what a day we have had. I didn't get to record all of it. Just, you know, it takes so much longer to do anything when you're recording for YouTube. And I hate that, but I sometimes feel overwhelmed and I can't record everything that I, I do around here. But a couple days ago, I backed up uh, the truck down towards where the birdhouse houses are, the aviary buildings. And I ran over some water line, and it was CPVC of all things. Uh, some water line that I didn't put in. Uh, and I ran over it, it was, it was exposed. I knew deep down within me that it was on top of the ground. We don't have freezing weather often enough to the point where we bury things, you know, five feet deep. You know, just six inches is enough for that. But water had eroded the the, the ground around where this was um, and I snapped it when I pulled out of it water just started spraying everywhere so I had to repair all that the broken bits I replaced with with PEX um, using the shark bites those things are expensive but they're they're wonderful because they connect different types of pipes together um, Excuse the noises in the background. The kids are chasing some chickens that have gotten out. Uh, we can't really free range here because of neighbors and, and my mama. She doesn't like the chickens digging in her flower beds. But anyhow, that was a, a couple of days ago. I posted it on Facebook. And by the way, I'm in Facebook jail again for something I posted like six months ago. Just ridiculousness. Um, but this morning I went, we went, we went, it was 47 miles, we went to a chicken swap and I didn't record any of that whatsoever. But I bought three of the prettiest silky type chickens. Uh, one is a white frizzle, sizzle, naked neck showgirl, just beautiful, beautiful bird. Another is a cuckoo showgirls and the cuckoos the, they don't have the dark skin the cuckoo gene the barring gene messes up the dark pigmentation but I got a blue rooster uh, the lady said that she just bought a bunch of chicks and raised them up as pets for her grandkids and her grandkids no longer wanted them so she was selling them ten dollars a piece I didn't buy the the rest of the the roosters and she had already sold a bunch so after we got those chickens home and got them settled um we left about seven o'clock this morning we were back home by nine nine or ten um i went and i got a load of screen topsoil to cover up those exposed pipes and we got that all unloaded um it was just me and the two little kids doing that. You know, Jonathan is at work, Daniela is at work, and Daniel, you know, he he doesn't do a whole lot. God bless him. We got that done, and then we went and installed some more water faucets in different areas for the birds. And that brings us to where we are now. I'm going to, I bought a 50 foot garden hose. I'm gonna chop it in half, put some more fittings on it, and they're chasing roosters behind me. Uh, there's a rooster right there that they were trying to catch. Um, but I'm gonna cut this hose in half and add some more fittings to it. He's laughing at you because you didn't catch him. Oh yeah, I'm determined to get that rooster. You're determined? Yes. Well, I hope you do. That is, that's the handle of the Tripod. I got this turned around backwards somehow. Okay, so I need two hoses that are 25 foot in length. And they just don't sell a heavy duty hose that short. They have them all the way up to 200 feet in length. So I'm going to stretch this out, cut it in half. I've bought all of these things. 
a male and a female of these. So y'all don't want to watch me do that. I'm just going to do it and come back later. Yeah, you can get the little one too. Cut them off. Yes, that one. He's cutting an invasive privet hedge that is growing over the driveway. Well, what am I doing? You're making a fairy garden. Yeah. So like everything else in our lives, nothing goes according to my plan. Um, nothing went right yesterday. It was Friday and I was supposed to make a baby bird video, but that just didn't happen. I apologize. Um, yeah, mostly because we don't have any baby birds, but I had an idea for something and it just didn't, it just didn't happen. And I, I'm sorry about that. But I can't get this on the hose. It says for five eighths and three quarters, this is a five eighths inch hose and it just won't go through. So I don't have a heat gun. I can't make this go any further. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil some water in the microwave and maybe safely not kill ourselves and so dip I, this down into the hot water. So I, best not kill uh, I wish I had a blowtorch or a heat gun. A heat gun would be, I don't have any gas for that. And it's a big old giant weeder thing. It's, it's not going to work. It's a flamethrower flame and it's not going to work. But we're going to dip this in hot water, try to get it so that we can get one of these ends on here so that we can make this work. Why are you trying to pulverize the dirt? Just put it into the pot. No, it needs to be fine. She's just like her mama. I really, really, this is not, not an endorsement. I didn't get these on Amazon. Um... Got it all got it all from Home Depot because that's what we have here in Pell City where we live. But my personal preference is on the end of the hose, I like to have this little do lolly where you can turn it on and off. And it has to face the right direction. And then I love these. It is just a simple nozzle sprayer. And this is my preferred apparatus for working with the birds. I can use it to at high pressure, fully turned on. I can spray the poop off the cages. At lower pressure, I can fill up the water bowls very easily. Those are all made of brass or copper. Some, brass I'm sure and also that when but these the work really 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 well the cockatoos you can just easily spray out the water dishes yeah on high pressure so that way high you pressure I'm going to spray Catherine and she doesn't have to take a shower <laughs> well, that little two-pack thing it came with this also these are not my favorite because you have to twist them to do the thing but you don't need that other separate little uh, turn her on and off her valve thing so we're going to use this on the other hose so i've turned a 50 foot heavy duty hose into two 25 foot heavy duty hoses and even after i bought all the fittings and everything it was still cheaper than buying two 25 foot lightweight or medium weight hoses because they don't make 25 foot uh heavy duty hoses the 
the two aviary buildings for these are going. One is 30 feet and the hose is in the middle so it'll easily reach either end. And the other one is only 20 foot for the macaws are. So the water hose will easily reach all the way around through that. So this is gonna save us a whole lot of time, a whole lot of effort every day instead of stretching a 100 foot hose all through the yard to clean cages and refill water bowls. Um, we just, we, we have water where we need them, on demand sort of thing. We are eventually going to do some automatic drinker valves for these macaws. That'll be coming up um, the next month or so. Um, we'll get that done. Everything takes time and even more, more importantly, what slows us down is everything takes money. And like most of you watching, we don't have a whole lot of that. <laughs> Catherine keeps saying, well, after we bought that new car, we sure don't have money. It's not a new car, baby. I don't care. It's new to us. It's new to us, and it's wonderful, and it's beautiful, and it has heated seats, and it has uh, a leather. DVD player in it, seats. leather seats. It's a big improvement over the other black Suburban that we have that uh, we'll be giving it to Jonathan, so that's what he's driving back and forth to work. Um Doubt Daniel will ever learn to drive, and then when it comes time for Jeremiah and Catherine, we'll do the best we can to help them. We had fun. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.